What's going on everybody? I have finished prototyping the electronics for a replacement tachometer motor. Basically, you can't get these tachometer motors um, for the RX-7 anymore. Um, any, of the, any of the gauge motors really. Uh, so when somebody pulls out a, um, a motor spindle or one gets rusted or uh, like this one right here, kind of see is corroded down at the base of the needle or the spindle where the needle wasn't sitting um, and it doesn't spin right. So traditionally the recourse has been to buy a new cluster or buy a new tachometer, but uh, I've been trying to um, reverse engineer the signals for the tachometer and create a driver board that would drive a more modern motor that you can get easily. Uh, and what I used is a a motor from a GM cluster. These things are readily available and decently priced. Uh, so yeah, so a driver board there and a um, signal generator um, or signal processor. And then over here have the frequency generator that I'm gonna use to sweep the gauge. Um, and it's plugged into the miles, an hour, miles per hour gauge as well there, the speedometer. Uh, but working well. So we can go down and step here. The other benefit of these is uh, we'll be able to finally have a 10,000 RPM tachometer. Um, it will actually sweep 315 degrees versus the 270 degrees of the uh, the factory tachometer so we can sweep all the way to past 10,000 RPM basically but um, I'm gonna work on making my own tack faces and then you can always use rev limiter or black cat customs or something like that too so uh, pretty cool stuff uh, again just using a, a GM more up-to-date readily available motor and then I'll make a housing for it and uh, complete the mechanicals next.